Hi there, I'm going to show you how to make sure you can be found on Google. So for this example I typed in wind turbine and when I typed in wind turbine Google came back with 3.5 million search results. This means Google has found 3.5 million web pages uh, that have got something to do with wind turbines. Now the higher this result is the harder it is to appear on the first page of Google. Okay. So as a general rule, and this, this isn't an always or a never, okay, but this is just to, to give you an idea. Anything from 50,000 to 300,000 search results, you can easily appear on the first page of Google just with one video, easily. Anything from 300,000 to 1 million search results, it's a bit harder. Even with, win with one video, you can still appear on the first page of Google. You need to put a bit more effort into it though, search for good keywords. Um, but anything from 1 million to 2 million is quite a bit harder. And for this, there is a, a way to do it. You just use the um, overkill, the video overkill formula I talked about in the previous video. And even with 1 million to 2 million search results, you can easily uh, dominate the first page of Google with that formula. I have even seen people uh, dominate uh, in 50 million search results with that formula before. Okay, so it really does work. All it means is the higher uh, the search results are, the more effort you're going to have to put into making videos and you know getting on the first page of Google. Okay, right. So I'm just going to give you an example by going to Google. Right. So I'm going to type in wind turbine generator. Uh, wind turbine, I mean. And you can see there are, it's gone up a bit, there are 3.6 million search results here. Uh, but you can see there are one, two, there are five videos on the first page here, okay? Five videos. But anyway, uh, as you can see, yeah, there are 3.6 million search results. So what you have to do is find a keyword, a keyword phrase to drop this a bit. So the longer the keyword phrase is, the lower this becomes, okay? So if I for example if I uh, type in make wind turbine you can see it's, it's, it's halved it's 1.7 million okay so what you have to do is juggle between Google keyword tool and Google here with the search results to see uh, if a keyword phrase is worth going after so for example I've put wind, wind turbine in um, keyword tool here I just refresh the page. Now you can see as I go down, I've got to find a key phrase uh, that I can go after. So if I type in, for example, wind turbine, a uh, home wind turbines here, now there's still three million. So I've got to find a search term that's uh, a lot lower. Um, maybe if I find a product an affiliate product or I've, I've got my own product on how to make your own wind turbine so build your own wind turbine I'll try that right so that's got 5.7 um, not 5.7 587 thousand search results so this is something you can easily dominate in so if you've got your own uh, product here it could be an ebook it could be a course or something on how to make a wind turbine if you haven't got your own products, you can always go to something like Clickbank, uh, where you can get affiliate products and sell other. You can promote other people's products. But uh, I'll show show you all this in the marketing videos I'm going to make after these. Um, but anyway, 600,000. As I said before, you can easily dominate this search term. Okay, so this is a good thing to go after. So it's basically juggling between uh, the search uh, search results here and the the amount of searches per month that people make on Google so I mean 3,000 search results per month isn't bad okay and you can easily dominate on 600,000 search results okay so anyway I just wanted to show you this because uh, this is very important uh, before going into any product uh, project at all okay so anyway as I said anything anything around this you can easily dominate okay so anyway, hope you like this video and uh, in the next video I'm going to be talking about your www. address. Okay, so I'll see you then.